Um, if you guys need anything, just let me know. I'm not a regular mom. I'm a cool. Is there alcohol in this? Oh God, no, honey. What kind of mother do you think I am? Why do you want a little? Because if you're gonna drink, I'd rather you do it in the house. Hello, champagne dreamers. Welcome back to my channel. I'm your girl, Miss J, the trash queen of glam, geek, and gore. And I am so excited about this video. For the first time, I'm going to take part in new makeup nonsense bingo. This is something that Teresa's Dead and Emily Hanhan have been doing for, I think, over a year. And girl, it got me through lockdown. I love it. They get together and they have some adult libations and they talk about new makeup releases. What's new? What's coming out? What's been sneak peeked? Do they like it? So it's a little bit anti-haul. It's a little bit new releases and it's a bit of a drinking game. So I'm going to go ahead and put my bingo card up on the screen so you can take a look at it. And then we're gonna go ahead and get into it. So I went and I found, I think 47 different products on Instagram. I'm not great at this. So I'm just gonna say that out the gate. So I hope I picked these well. So like some things, I don't know if everything would fit on a square, but I made sure that for each of the squares, I had something that could apply to that. Because otherwise you just end up playing bingo forever. <laughs> uh oh. So I'm excited, so let's go ahead and mix a little drinky drink. I make poor choices. So I have Mountain Dew Major Melon, watermelon flavored Mountain Dew. <laughs> and I'm gonna mix that with Svetka Strawberry Lemonade Vodka. Svetka, from Sweden. Making a mess already. This tastes like summer. Like the summer of 2020. It's not great. So if you're excited to watch me do new makeup nonsense bingo and drink this absolutely wretched cocktail, then stick around. We're getting into it right now. I'm gonna go ahead and quickly put the pictures of what I might be talking about on the screen, and we'll break to do that right now. So those are the products that I may talk about. And again, it just depends on what the randomizer has in store for me. I didn't really know exactly where to look. I went to Indie Mood and got a lot of stuff. I went to Trend Mood and got a lot of stuff. And then there were a couple squares where I knew I didn't have anything, like Makeup Revolution. So I just went to the Makeup Revolution site and like went to the What's New section and grabbed one or two things. And there were a couple other things that I just grabbed because I knew that I would need them for a square or a couple of makeup accounts that I follow had posted new products, so I just grabbed those as well. So there wasn't really any science behind it. But we're gonna go ahead and check the first one, which is the Dior Backstage Face and Body Powder. <sighs> I'm bored. I'm bored, I just don't care. I'm glad that they're trying to put out some complexion products that work for different skin tones, because as much as we all say translucent powder, we know that translucent powder isn't entirely translucent. It's got a little bit of color to it. And usually that color is like a beigey kind of nude. But there are a lot of people whose skin is not beigey nude. It's tan nude or olive nude or chocolate nude or whatever kind of nude. So I appreciate that they're doing it. Dior is not in my price range anyway. I'm not interested in a pressed face powder. I'm gonna pass. I'm gonna put this on the card as, I, that was, I don't know why. Ah! Sometimes. I'm going to put this on the card as same shit new packaging. No offense to Dior, but pressed powders have been around for a long time. Don't be acting like this is something revolutionary. So same shit, different packaging. Next up is the Nabla Vicious Mascara. 
I don't really care about mascaras and I almost never buy full-size mascaras just because I don't use them enough, they go bad. So I prefer like sample sizes or trial sizes. I wear false lashes all the time. So all I do is I use it to like darken my own sad, pathetic little lashes. Thanks, Mama Champagne. But that packaging is adorable. With the little cat head with like the eyes and the eyes look like they could be rhinestones. I don't think they are, but it's kind of adorable. I do appreciate that, but I don't need a full size expensive high end mascara. I just don't, that's not what I need in my life. That's not to the life that I've chosen to lead. So I'm gonna call this one a product that is a catfish. Not because it's not what it's saying that it's going to be. It is a mascara, but that's the point. It's just a mascara. At the end of the day, the weird like cat head packaging is cute, but it's still just a mascara. Don't try to catfish me with your cat packaging. Oh, and I forgot, every time I get a square on the bingo card, I'm supposed to drink, so I owe you two. <sighs> Oh. oh, it tastes like regret. Mm. Next up are the Melt Cosmetics Mini. So they have some little mini eyeshadows in a stack and they have these mini lipsticks. I am a thicker milkshake. I am a voluptuous queen. I'm a gigantic diva. I am an Easter parade float. I don't need mini nothing. Except mini mascara, we just covered that. But I don't need mini lipsticks. I They look like deluxe samples that you should be getting for free and instead you're paying like, I don't even know what it is for the set. I'll have to look it up. I'll put the price on the screen. They're gonna be a price that should not be the price for a bunch of samples. I'm sorry. I like Melt Cosmetics. I recently did a video where I reviewed all of the Melt palettes and I ranked them twice. I'll go ahead and link that video up in the cards if you haven't seen it, but I love Melt Cosmetics, but this minis, it isn't it for me. Sorry. I'm gonna call this a bundle deal that no one wants. Maybe somebody wants it, but that someone is not me. I do not need minis. So I just don't need it. It's a bundle deal that no one wants. And by no one, I mean this hooker clown. Oh, that's a bundle deal no one wants. Oh, I'm so excited. So I felt like I've been such a bitch so far because I just have not liked anything that we've talked about. The next item is the Sugar Pill Valentine's Collection. I love it. I love Sugar Pill. I love Valentine's makeup. I don't really love the holiday so much, but I love Valentine's makeup. And I think it's so cute. I love those eyeshadows and those lipsticks are adorable. And I'll pull the thing up just so I can remember. I do have all of these on my phone. New makeup okay. nonsense bingo. Yeah, yeah. I really do love these. The gloss is pretty. The eyeshadows, I like that kind of champagne-y colored one and the corally peach. But the liquid lipstick called Ring Pop, that will be mine. And in fact, I tried to order it. I was on Sugar Pill's website. I was just looking around and they had a preview of it and I thought it was available and I was trying to add it to my cart and then realized it wasn't released yet. I love it. It's so pretty. So that's definitely going to end up in my collection. So I'm going to give this one the spot. Put it on my face because I want it on my face. I was going to say all over my face, but just on my lips, please. Ooh, the next one obviously is right up my alley. It's the Copacetic March Quad, and it's four beautiful green shades. How can I not love that? I love green eyeshadows, and Copacetic is actually one of the brands that I said I want to try in 2021. If you haven't watched the video of eight brands that I want to try this year, I'll go ahead and link it up in the cards. You know what to do. You can check it out there. But Copacetic is one of them, and I might actually pick up their March Quad because those greens look pretty cute. I like it. I actually don't have a spot on the card for this. <sighs> oh well. If I hadn't already used the put it on my face, I would have put this on my face. On my card. In the bingo game. But on my face. Because I love it. Next up we have the Dominique Cosmetics Prisma Glow Highlighter Palette. I don't know. There's something about Dominique Cosmetics. There's nothing that she's released that has intrigued me. There was the one palette, I think maybe like the Lemonade 2 or the Latte 2. There was something that had a lot of pastels and that one kind of intrigued me, but there was still too many neutrals and I don't care. I just don't. There's something about her aesthetic that just doesn't vibe with me. And that highlighter palette with the four square pans and then all that weird empty space in the cardboard, when you could have huge highlighter pans, I love a big highlighter. So 
I don't know what's going on with that. I'm not interested. I definitely am not gonna buy it, but let's see if I can find a spot for it on my card. Probably not. Okay, I'm just gonna do this because I don't wanna be here all night. So if there are any Dominique cosmetic stands, don't hate me, but I'm gonna put this on the square, a collab or product that wouldn't die. And I just mean this whole brand. I'm sorry, Dominique Cosmetics just doesn't interest me. We still have things to do tonight. So I'm gonna put this under a collaborate product that wouldn't die just for the whole brand. Oh, this drink is how I feel about Dominique Cosmetics. Oh, there was a lot of vodka in that one. So next up we have the Glisten Cosmetics Iridescent Wet Liners. These look pretty. I don't think they look like multi-chrome, so I don't think I can put it on the, all the multi-chrome spot, but these, I'm intrigued by. When they're called wet liners, I don't know if that means that they're cake liners. I have been playing around with cake liners, not always very successfully, but I'm interested. I wanna see what they are. If they're like a glossy, like wet gel kind of liner, I'm less interested because any of those gel colors, I can never get them to work as a liner. I can only like pat them on as like a base for other colors. I'm interested. They look really pretty over a black base. So I, I don't know, Glisten, we're gonna maybe check you out. I haven't ordered from Glisten before. If you have, let me know down in the comments. Did you like their products? Do you like the brand. I'm intrigued, but I'm not ready to purchase it. I was going to put it on the square for drunk me would buy it, but I'm half drunk and I'm not ready to buy it. Next up is Bite the Upswing Liquid Liner. <sighs> Don't care. I am terrible at liquid liner. That was one of the things that I said I want to learn this year. Another video I'm going to link up in the cards. I did the beauty resolutions tag for 2021 and I'll go ahead and link that there. The two things that I said I really want to learn and maybe even perfect, dare we say, are halo eyes and winged liner. But for right now, I haven't figured it out enough to buy an expensive, expensive liner. So Bite is not a brand that usually appeals to me anyway. They're all natural and like... They have fruit juice in them. Yeah, so they go bad in like two months. So I don't know. I'm not really into it. Damn, hippies. <laughs> I'm just going to call this a true cash grab. We've talked before on this channel about how I don't really like the term cash grab anyway, because the nature of capitalism is that everybody who makes shit wants to give you shit so that you'll give them money for the shit. Everything is a cash grab, but Bite is all about like fruit juice and natural beauty. And then they're like, but make a winged cat eye eyeliner with this new eyeliner. So I don't know if there's some like natural component to it. I don't buy it. I'm going to call it a true cash grab. <sighs> Eclectic Beauty Hotel Antoinette. I gotta check the phone for this. <laughs> Some of the pictures I remember. This one I, I sort of do. I think it's blushes. Where are you? Let me look this up. I know this is really engaging content where I just look down at my phone. Oh, okay, yeah, so it's blushes and like maybe liquid lipsticks or liquid eyeshadows. So it's based on Hotel Antoinette. I don't know what that is. I am sorry if I'm supposed to know what that is. If you're a big fan, I don't mean to offend you or whatever. These look like blushes, but they also look like they could be cream blushes. The screenshot doesn't have what they actually are. So I don't know if they're cream blushes. They look like cream blushes. The two at the top, the peachy colored ones, and the two, all of them actually, all of those blushes look beautiful. Depending on how much they cost and if they're not cream blushes, I would think about this. I would consider it. That's gonna get the drunk me would buy it space because I would think about that. And if I drank enough, and if I drank enough of this swill, I might even buy them even if they are cream blushes. So that's what we're gonna give it to those blushes. The face powders, don't care. Um, I have a face powder I like, I don't need more. And those things, I can't tell if they're liquid eyeshadows, liquid lipsticks. If they're liquid eyeshadows, I know I don't like them. If they're liquid lipsticks, I'm not interested, so. For the blushes though, we're gonna call it Drunk Me Would Buy It. Angie, hide the credit cards. Yeah. She, <laughs> as you're belching. Angie, hide my credit cards. Next up we have Revolution Skincare Pineapple Peel. See, I'm glad I went to the Makeup Revolution site so I could find some things for this card. I don't really do peels. I'm scared of them. I used to take the hair off of my legs with Nair. And Nair is serious business. When the bottle tells you put it on for four minutes, they fucking me in four minutes. If you have it on for four minutes and two seconds, you are hamburger. Like, it's just bad news. So, like, 
That's how I feel like chemical peels are going to be. I'm going to take off like six layers of skin. I'm not about it. They scare me. If I went and had it professionally done, I don't want to peel at home. So I'm going to give this one makeup revolution. Go away. That was a lot. Okay. Next up, we have the Pat McGrath Love Lust Gloss Duos. Love and Lust Gloss Duos. Oh God, Pat McGrath. These are rich. I finally gave in. Let me show you what a clown I am. After all the times that I trash talked Pat McGrath and her $125 palettes, look who's a whole ass clown. I bought this fucking thing. This pink mirrored packaging drew me in. As much as I rag on Pat McGrath, clearly I have given her some of my coin, so I feel justified in giving these critiques. And the critique I have for these lip duos, tacky as fuck. I love like face powders that are in a little heart compact. It's kind of cheesy, it's kind of whatever. But those weird flat heart glosses, what the fuck is that? Pat McGrath, are you okay? Somebody needs to check on her. Somebody needs to call and do a wellness check. Send somebody over, get a social worker. I don't know what's happening. I don't know who approved that at Pat McGrath Labs, but they are tacky as fuck. They are so ugly. They are so ugly. I feel like I'm getting really impassioned about this now that I've had a few drinks, but they are awful. So I have a spot on the card for yet another lip gloss. So we're gonna put that there. I wish I had something more scathing, terrible. Okay, what's next? So on the randomizer, I called something Glaminatrix Cosmetics New Palette. I don't know what the fuck that is. Hold on. Please hold. I think it's that palette that had like no fucking description. What is that? So usually what I do, like Trend Mood and Indie Mood, their descriptions are fucking novels. And so I always open it so that I get as much information as I can and then I take it as far up as I can and then just screenshot the whole thing. This one had no information. It just says, just revealed their new eyeshadow palette. This color story looks so pretty. Really love the mattes in here. Thanks Indie Mood for absolutely fucking nothing. This color story makes no goddamn sense to me. I don't like any of these colors together. Uh, this looks terrible. I don't love this. God, why isn't there a space for just like a poop emoji? Like just shit on this palette, just shit on it. Clavinatrix Cosmetics, sponsor me. Sorry, I don't mean to be rude. I've had, I'm starting to drink and I get a little like heated about this. I just don't like it. I don't think it's pretty. I don't like it. Take a shit on this palette. I'm just gonna call this basic as fuck neutral palette. I know it's not all neutrals, but it's boring. It's so boring to me. I'm just gonna call it that. And clearly we gotta get me a bingo so I can get out of here before I get too mouthy. Sorry, Glaminatrix. I don't mean to shit on indie brands. I mean, clearly I just tried to, but I just, I don't want to be like rude to indie brands, but that palette, man, come on. Uh. Oh, fuck. Oh God, okay. <laughs> Okay, next we got the Too Faced Teddy Bear Collection. If you thought I was sassy about Glaminatrix, hold on to your hats. Finger gun. Because this is trash. And in fact, I'm sad that I used basic as fuck neutral palette for the last one, because this is the one, as I was pulling it, I was like, I hope my bingo card has basic as fuck neutral palette on it. Because I was like, that's what this is. This is terrible. Too Faced, this teddy bear, it's the same nude neutral shades that they've done 50,000 times. And then there's a highlighter with a fucking teddy bear on it. Whoopty fucking do. Like, it's just stupid. It's so bad. It's so bad. I don't care. Too Faced, go away. We're gonna call this pretty embossing basic makeup because it does have that cute teddy bear embossed in the highlighter. Too Faced, be better. All right, what's next? Take a drink. Oh, yeah. Violet Voss Cherry Palette. God, we're getting all the shit products. <laughs> Next up is the Violet Voss Cherry Palette. When's the last time somebody was excited about something from Violet Voss? 
I feel like I'm being such a bitch in this video, but I just don't care. It's another red palette. It's like two years too late. Everybody's done their like red monochromatic palette. Everybody's done their like Valentine's pinky purple. What even is this? Why do you exist, Cherry Palette? Why? Why do you exist? What is the point? I don't get it. I, ugh, God, do I even have a spot for it? Okay, you know what? It's 18 shades. I don't actually have a Morphe palette in the group. So I'm gonna use this as like a thematic choice of this feels like an oversized Morphe palette to me because it feels like 18 shades that could have been a quad. Like it could have been six shades. I just, I don't care. I'm sorry, Violet Voss. I love their rainbow palette. I think it's beautiful. I have their flamingo palette, which I think is fun. Their recent releases have just not excited me at all. Oh no, drink. <laughs> you like it or not. Oh God, this is another one. Oh, this is a terrible, terrible thing that I've done to myself. The next one is the Marc Jacobs Coffee Collection, which is I think two different shades. I've got a fucking picture, I could look at it. I'm trying to do all of this from memory and clearly my memory is foggy now. Huh. Yeah, it's two different shades of these like face palettes. First of all, I don't know who needs to hear this today, but fucking stop face palettes with bronzer and blush and highlighter. Nobody needs that. Some people don't want any kind of blush palettes or anything. I don't mind a blush palette or a bronzer palette or a highlighter palette, but don't give me mixed stuff because you don't know what combination. You don't know me. You don't know me. You don't know what combination I want for my blush with my highlighter. So then I end up having to buy fucking six palettes to get the three different colors that I want. That math doesn't add up. So it's concealers and then two of these face palettes. I'm generally not interested in Marc Jacobs, except for those big fucking highlighters. I have that one with the cherries on it from Christmas. It's so pretty. It's really pretty. It's really, really, really pretty. It's pretty. It's pretty. But I don't like this. I don't like it. Let's see if I have a spot on the card. I mean, I have complexion product release with a terrible range. It looks like the range in the concealers is actually not bad. I mean, a collab with someone not known for their makeup, coffee isn't known for its makeup. <laughs> and foundation, again, it's not a foundation, it's a concealer. I don't have anything. I don't have anything. You're taking a drink, you have nothing. I'm drinking anyway. Okay. This is causing me to drink. Next up is the Chanel Illuminating Blush Powder. Don't care. Don't want it. Don't need it. Chanel, I love Chanel number five, but your makeup is overpriced and it's boring. I'm so glad that there are enough old white women to keep your makeup division in business. God bless them. God bless the USA and all their Karens. But I don't need it. I don't need it in my life. I just don't. I don't need it. I don't care. God damn it. Why does nothing fit on my bingo card? Okay, let me look. Um, ha ha. I'm gonna call it major copycat vibes. Why? What did I think it looked like? Let me look at it again. <laughs> I'm calling it major copycat vibes because if you look at that pressing in the pan, I'm not trying to be shady here. It looks like Physician's Formula, which you know what? Is another brand for old white ladies. So, I mean, good for them. They're ripping off the good ones, I guess, whatever. I'm calling it major copycat vibes because I want to and because I'm trying to get bingo before I need to go into a facility. So we're gonna call it Major Copycat Vibes. Cheers. So, old lady makeup you won't have, but that old lady perfume and old lady purses you're all about. Oh my God, I love it. What old lady purses do I have? Don't you like Chanel, don't you want a Chanel purse? I do want a Chanel bag, but their purses are not old lady purses. Their purses are fierce. <laughs> you shut your whore mouth. <laughs> Fenty Flash Nap Instant Revival. Yes! Say that again. Fenty Flash Nap Instant Revival. All right, this I know will go on my bingo card. This is the Fenty Instant Nap Flash Nap <laughs> Take Fenty. a Nap Nap Time, whatever the fuck it's called. You're gonna take a nap on your eyes. So it's eye cream, <laughs> that means it's skincare. And right in the corner, I've got even more skincare. So I'm gonna mark that off. I have a good, I have a good, oh. 
I have a pretty good skincare routine worked out, but I'm always looking for new eye cream. So I would think about it, except it's got that weird like vibrator thing that I think is supposed to be like, I think it massages your eye. Mm -hmm. Kind of like those things that your mom bought at Spencer's were back massagers. Sus. I'm excited. I would maybe give this a try because I do need some perking up in my eye area from time to time. So I would maybe try this and I can put it on my bingo card. So cheers. I think I drank twice for that one. I can't believe it took this long, but we finally got something from our Lord and Savior ColourPop. The ColourPop X Bambi Disney Collection. <sighs> Oh, Jesus, take the wheel. ColourPop, slow your fucking roll. What is going on? Why do we need all of these like licensed Disney collections? And who asked for Bambi? That movie is about animal cruelty and it's like 800 years old. Why are you suddenly making a collection about that? If there are Bambi fans in the audience, just don't leave me your snarky comment down below. I don't care, except do because it's engagement, so I'll take it. And I'll leave you a nice response. I'm not mean in the comments as long as you're not a dick. So if you wanna tell me about how great Bambi is and how you cried, blah, 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 like I guess I'll read it or whatever, but I just don't give a shit. And ColourPop is the center square like Paul Lind on, what was that show? Hollywood Squares. Hollywood Squares, Paul Lind. Oh my, I can't really do a Paul Lind. That was like little Edie. I'm like, oh my, let me show you my dances. Oh. <laughs> Color pop in the center square. We got bingo, bitch. And that's perfect because I'm almost done with this horrible cocktail. This video was a complete and utter train wreck and I hope you enjoyed it. I hope that you come back. I hope that you realize that this hooker clownery that you've seen is not emblematic of everything that I do on my channel. I mean, if you liked it, go check out my Don't Drink and Drag series because there's more drunk shenanigans there. I am filled with regret and watermelon Mountain Dew, so I'm gonna go and I hope you enjoyed watching. If you enjoyed, please give me a thumbs up or give me a thumbs down. If you loved Bambi and you're pissed about what I said, or maybe you're from Glaminatrix Cosmetics. Hashtag sponsor me. Then you know what? Give me a thumbs down. It's all engagement. I'll take it either way. The algorithm isn't a picky bitch and neither am I. Check my grinder. While you're down there, don't forget you can subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so you'll be notified of all future uploads. I upload at least one video a week, usually on Tuesdays, and sometimes I even have a bonus video for you. Ooh, sloppy. If you'd like to chat, banter, or commiserate between uploads, all of my social media will be linked down in the description box below, including a link to my website, The World of Champagne at Janessa J. Dot com. Dot com. Dot com. J.J. Wentworth, call 877-CASH-NOW. I don't, that had nothing to do with the dot com, but I, it just made me think of it. Okay, we, we lost the track. We lost the track. Um, what did we do? We did the social media. We did that. Oh, thank you so much for watching. I need to wash this clown face and take my happy ass to bed. So I am so glad that you joined me here. I hope you enjoyed New Makeup Nonsense Bingo. Go check out Teresa's video and Emily Hanhan's video. And Audra at Home, I think, has started to become part of the series. So definitely check all those out. And until I see you again, bye. Yahoo!